All right, good day, folks. Today we're take a look at the Japanese yen, focusing on the March Japanese yen. Our smart seasonal scanner found a high probability short opportunity occurring on today, Friday, January 22nd, with an end date of around Feb 22nd, looking for about a 30-day calendar window. Average profit's been 82% over the last 17 years. Average profit is roughly $1,700. You can see the year-by-year -year breakdown below. Nice uh, profit potential down there. You can see the year-by-year. -year. We had a couple of downdrafts there in 16 and 18. And then we started to pick up back with the seasonal norms in 2019 and 2020. Also, to see from a 5, 15, and 30-year historical perspective, we can see here this is where we are this is where we are today and notice that the 15 and 30 year are steadily moving down so here is right here at the end of january beginning of february and we trade lower into mid feb early march before we get a little bit of, of bounce but you also notice that the five year has deviated from the 15 and 30. while we do take note of that we consider that an anomaly because you can see how consistent the 5, 15, and 30 year have pretty much stayed in line over the last 30 some odd years. So we want to put more weight on the 15 and 30, the longer term price averages, and trade in line with seasonals, but we also want to be cognizant of where we are from a technical perspective. So let's go to the charts. Now if we look at a, let's start here with a weekly chart. This is a weekly chart of the continuous contract. You see we've been pretty much just stair-stepping up, the range getting tighter and tighter and tighter. So likely in this scenario, one or two things are going to happen. We're going to have a sharp break to the downside, or we're going to pop to the upside. Well, knowing what we know about seasonality, we're going to favor a move to the downside. Now, we are approaching or coming up into these weekly highs from a long-term perspective back in 2016 so we would expect at a bare minimum the price to pause doesn't mean they have to completely reverse but we would expect some type of reaction at these areas now would in an ideal situation like to see us push up into these levels and show some type of clear rejection and then get have an opportunity to go short now if we look at the daily chart the drawings have carried over from the daily or excuse me, from the weekly to the daily. If we take our Fib retracement from this swing low back in March of 2020 and come back up here to this last swing high, this is the whole COVID pandemic noise, here we are pushing and testing the 786 level. So again, I would ideally like to see us come back into this area of structure, which would be a retest of the long-term channel, slightly above the 786, and then look for a move to the downside. Now to play this, I would actually go down even further, perhaps to the four hour chart. So here we are with our drawings carried over again. We're looking for a trade back here. We use our risk on the four hour and then we would be targeting down here anywhere initially in the 94, 50 to 95 range. But that's what we're looking at on the yen for the week ahead. Good luck, good trading, and we'll see you in the next update.